oysters. So, uh, what is it exactly you're uh, trying to do at the moment with the car? Basically, at the moment, before you start the cars up, you have to get them up to oil, oil pressure. Um, obviously, these cars, the oil tank's in the back, the engine's in the front, it's all got to get round. You get the, the oil pressure up, then you can fire the car up. You have to go through like a warm-up procedure. Um, once it's up to temperature, then we, we then have to go through the gears to get all the oil around the gearbox and do the same thing. It takes about 20, 25 minutes to actually get it up to temperature just to move the car. So uh, yeah, you can't just jump in this one and drive off. And, and all that's just for what, what what's he going to be doing first? Is he going to be going up the hill or we're going... This, this is today. It, today we'll be doing five laps, I think. Uh, maybe more. We'll see how the day goes. So the car will actually be running for five laps. It's going to take how long? Um, depends how quick the pace car is. <laughs> <laughs> right. But So it's going to take you sort of 25 uh, minutes or 30 minutes to get it warmed up for so 20 minutes to run? Yeah, yeah. basically. It's, it's not Le Mans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot anyway. Thank you. This is your uh, GT1 car, a Ferrari 575. Uh, um, just tell us a little bit about it, how well, you came yeah. about getting it. And well, I heard about it through uh, a friend of mine who's got one in France, and uh, I sold uh, the BB Le Mans car I have, and I was looking for something else. So uh, he said, well, just go and try one of these. He said they're a very exciting car. So it was owned by the factory for most of its life, so it was in fantastic condition. And uh, so we went along to Italy to, to buy it uh, and found out the history. It finished fifth at the Mon 500Ks in 2003, and then it was the factory development car, so really it's, uh, it belonged to the factory all its life. Oh, excellent. So it's, uh, it's had quite a quite a hard life there. It's done quite a bit of racing. Oh, and, absolutely. And yeah. you're hoping to carry that on, obviously. Well, we want to, yeah. This is only the second time out. We've, uh, this is the last time we'll run it noisy, because it is quite noisy, and yeah. we can't run it on any English track now until uh, we silence it, unfortunately. So uh, we're taking advantage of the noisy day. To, to run it. Today. Absolutely brilliant. So you'll, you'll be driving this yourself, will you? Oh, I will be. Yeah. Yeah. Having a go. Okay, so uh, we have, uh, we've driven it, we're on little shakedown, and this is another one really before we take it out on the main track. Oh, excellent. So um, have you driven anything quite as powerful before? You've obviously had plenty yes. of other cars, yeah. so you've been used uh, to I it. I did have a 1970 uh, 512M years ago, uh, which was featured in the Steve McQueen film, but uh, that was a, a truly frightening beast to drive so this one the BB that I had before was a real gentleman's racer and hopefully this is in between not too frightening. So, so you haven't actually given this uh you haven't not yet. driven this in anger yet? This is a full ground effect car so we've got to uh, today we won't be getting any ground effect so we've no. got to be careful but it's part of settling the car down because it was completely rebuilt at the factory so there's going to be lots of little issues that yeah. we've got to sort out so yes. this is a very good opportunity to do that. And what are your plans for it in the future? What are you going to be doing? You're going to well, be doing we're historic gonna, racing. We're going to do or? really as many uh, meets we can. We'll try and take in uh, Goodwood Festival Speed if we can, uh, and also we'll try and do um, uh, as many track days uh, we can fit in. But it's at the moment it's not. Uh, in any racing program, but there is talk of a GT1 prototype racing coming back, so it'll yeah. be eligible for that. And will you be driving it yourself, or will it be um, probably to start with? I will have a go, have a go but, yeah. just to see if I can. I'm up to scratch. But okay. I, I may not be, but uh, then I've got a couple of drivers that uh, will be able to do that. So, yeah, okay. we might be able to share the driving, and I'll learn something. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much for uh, telling us a little bit Good. about your car, and uh, best luck with the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.